Hi y'all, welcome to Spirit Mail. I'm Cheryl and this is Daily Mail episode 78 and the fourth in our series called Reset. So the last reset we did was on Friday evening so today I want to review and then reset. The first reset that we got was right. Spirit, I felt like Spirit was saying to us to write a lot. Write journal, write your book, write your poems, write your music. Uh, if you don't know what else to write, just write words. You know, find find a letter, make a game out of it. Pick the letter F and write the words, however many words you can write with the letter F. Fun, frilly, fabulous, fantastic. Fun words, right? Write, just write. That was Spirit's first uh, suggestion for reset. Their second one was Play our music loud and dance and create music. There's a lot of you guys out there that create music. And in your uh, willingness to allow spirit to use you to create music, people like me who can't create music find uh, peace and solace and you raise my vibration with your music. So play your music loud and dance. That was another part of the message was and dance. So I felt like basically I felt like they were saying purge and raise your vibration. That was, for me, I feel like that was the steps. Purge and then raise your vibration. And once your vibration is raised, then then find your gift and dream your dream about walking that gift out, whatever it is for you. Imagine yourself on the other side of it, actually walking it out in your reality. So I'm going to put all three of those back in the deck before we pull the reset in case Spirit says revisit any of those. Um... Because, you know, they know what to do, not me. <laughs> so God guides angels, archangels, Holy Spirit. I thank you so much for uh, the reset. I thank you for giving us tarot as a tool and giving us oracle decks and giving us people like Cheryl Lee Hornish with this return of spirit who uh, creates a deck like this that we can use to refocus and reset our energy. Show us clearly, what is your reset message in this fourth video about reset? We thank you for clear and concise messages. We thank you for love, light, and prosperity. And we thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. Right. Guys, somehow I knew. <laughs> I swear, somehow I knew this was going to be the card that I was going to pull tonight. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I felt like Spirit was saying, you know, after we, we purge, after we do that initial writing, then we raise our vibration. And in that time of a raised vibration, then we allow ourselves to dream that dream. Then we sit down and write again. Something totally different is going to be coming to us as we write because our vibration is raised. And I feel like this is a really good time uh, because we have the time. Some of us are sent home or working from home or some of us are just laid off, period, whatever it is. We have the time to do this kind of work. And I've always said that we should use our own life like a little science project, like a lab. So whatever, if you did what Spirit said that first night, if you started writing again, and then you worked on raising your vibration, and, and then you allowed your mind to dream the dream, now go back and write again and see what writes, what you're writing this time, or see how your writing has changed over uh, the last, let's see, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, five, six days. See how, how your vibration or how your writing has changed over the last six days if you've been following these resets with spirit. I'm going to go ahead and read this for you again because the book, obviously, uh, T-U-B-W, same alphabet. Um, the book has a little more detail about it and possibly a little bit different perspective. There's an expression in English about words being printed in black and white. By drawing this card, Spirit is affirming to you that you need to get your words written down on paper. Is there something you've thought about writing? It could be poetry, a children's book, a song, a letter, a website, a channeled message, a book, or even a speech. Whatever it may be, the energy of putting your thoughts, ideas, and information into tangible form of manifestation is here. 
Do not put it off any longer. If you're having doubts, that's fine. Just acknowledge them and take action anyway. It's important you do, as this is going to lead to something more. Your creative force and expression is powerful, probably more powerful than you're aware of. What you have to say, share, and bring forward to others can be very influential and appreciated. Trust yourself and the words that come to you. Be mindful not to judge whether your writing seems good enough. You just need to allow yourself to start. If you've already begun the writing process, then it's important for you to receive this encouragement from your guides and angels and as you continue toward completion. You can do this. Your words are needed. You're doing great. Trust what's coming through you. Trust that you were made to do this. Just keep going. Not everyone is born with the gift or purpose to write, but you were and now's the time to share and to shine. The right card can also indicate a need to begin journaling. This could be in the form of a diary. However, it could also be that you need to start recording the ideas, thoughts, and teachings that you're receiving. There is pertinent information in your written words. Okay, and so that is the, the message that they gave the other day. Again, they're giving it tonight. And like I said, I had that feeling in my gut uh, because I wanted to pull the cards out, and but I wanted to make sure they were in there in case there was a revisit anything, and they wanted to revisit this. So we purged, right, with writing. We purged, um, and I'm not talking about those that are writing a book or music or something like that, guys. You're you're moving forward, but for those of us who use writing as a way to journal and to get messages from spirit and stuff like that. It's like it was a purging process. And then after we did that, they gave us the music to raise our vibration. And then they said, dream the dream. Now that your vibration is raised, now look at your gifts and dream the dream. See yourself on the other side of it. Now that you've seen it, come back and write it out again. Right? It's like, it's like Spirit's given us a process almost for you guys, the collective in this group, to move forward with something that has been uh planted inside of you uh, long ago that's what I'm feeling okay so write again and we're going to pull the PS God guides angels archangels and Holy Spirit I thank you so much for your resets and I thank you so much for uh, giving us tarot as a tool please show us clearly in this daily mail community what could we have said better or what could I have or what might I have left out as far as this second instruction to write goes? We thank you for clear and concise messages. We thank you for love, light, and prosperity. And we thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. Please show us clearly what is <laughs> what is the PS? Okay. We all, we all at one time or another had ideas about what, what it takes, right, to earn a living, what it takes to show up in society based on society's culture and all that. This is earthly attachments. Our culture, our, our planet, our, our world, right, uh, in different cultures have different ideas about what that looks like. But Spirit's saying with this card, we are not tied down to those ideas. Um, we're not tied down to any earthly structure uh, when it comes to the way that we show up or the way that we earn our money or any of that stuff. Look, those hands, that hand right there, wide open. You could just walk out and do what it is that makes your heart sing. There's something different for you. Again, you can just walk right out of there. there none of these swords are in front of you. And, and while there's a blindfold there, your hands can wiggle right there and get yourself untied. This is false imprisonment. For years and years and years, we've been at the mercy of larger corporations and, and, and uh, other people's ideas about what we were supposed to do with our life and all that kind of stuff. And I feel like there's some global reset going on so personally it's important for us to find our reset button also um, and this is part of that process for you guys and look 
here's celebration, right? Well, if we stop and think about it, you know, or if we allow ourselves to look outside of our four walls too much, we're not going to find anything out there to celebrate. But within ourselves, I think we can all find something to celebrate. And for me, the three is spirit, uh, the creator, our spirit team, and us. It's like a holy collaboration. So I feel like if we can keep ourselves in that mode, uh, knowing that there's there's a bigger picture. There's a, there's a better ending on the other side. There's a scripture that says that, and again, this is just based on my Christian background. There's a scripture that says that God will take what Satan meant for evil and turn it to good for those who love him. Now, I don't believe there's a God sitting on the cloud, and I don't believe there's a devil uh, running around on the earth and that these are two entities fighting. That's not what I believe. But I believe that heaven is within and the devil can be to be our mind, right? And so God, what's within us, right, will take what our mind means for evil. It's like our ego and our heart fighting against each other for attention. So it'll take what our mind meant for evil, I'll, I'll say it their way, evil, and turn it to good for those who love us, who love him, who love that God within us. So I absolutely love this card. Absolutely love that scripture too. Um, so celebrate. Find those things in your heart that are worth celebrating, even in the midst of what's going on out there. Because where our mind goes, energy flows. And out of the issues of the heart, are, are guard your heart with all diligence, because out of the heart come the issues of our life. So if we find those things to celebrate. And now that we purged, with the first instruction to write, and then we raised our vibration. And once our vibration was raised, we allowed ourselves to see something beautiful on the other side of this or what our gifts are, to see us walking those things out. Now we can go back and write again and write a whole new story based on a whole different place that we are now that our vibrations are raised. And so I think that we can do these things Start in the morning, write, raise our vibration, allow ourselves to um, see that gift, and then write again at the end of the day. So I think it's something that we can do every day, all day long. I don't know. Do it however it works for you. But guys, I love y'all so very, very much. And thank you so much for being a part of this Spirit Mail community. And thank you all so much for... Um, for raising for being con concerned or, or uh, conscientious about how you show up. Okay, guys, y'all go out and have a super duper day. I love you. Bye.